Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins on planet Kaiden, where a harsh dictator, Admiral Scorba, rules with an iron fist, and wants to enslave everyone. Despite his tyranny, some brave people resist. Among them is a scientist named Yang, who gives his newborn son incredible superpowers, hoping he will save the universe. Scorba learns about this, and quickly flies to Yang's lab, to kill the dangerous child. To protect his son, Yang sends him to Earth in a spaceship, just before Scorba arrives with his guards and his daughter, Agata. Agata has the power to read minds, and her mission is to find the superpowered child, and bring him back to Kaiden. However, the spaceship crashes into a satellite on its way to Earth, landing in Spain. Agata loses track of the child, and goes to the USA. A couple, the Lopeses, find the crashed ship in a field, and decide to adopt the unusual baby, who they name Juanito Lopez. The Lopez family soon realizes Juanito is no ordinary child. No matter how many times they shave his mustache, it always grows back. Juanito has super strength, can lift cars, throw people, and burn things with his eyes. He even wins a football game by himself, without passing to anyone else. Because of his strange abilities, no one shows up for his birthday party. His parents advise him to blend in and not stand out, if he wants to avoid being seen as an oddity. Juanito wishes to be normal, and starts hiding his superpowers from everyone. 20 years later, Juanito Lopez, now an adult, wakes up to a call from his boss and best friend, Jamie. Jamie wonders why he is not at work. He lies and pretends he's already been at the office for hours. Using his super speed, he manages to get to work before Jamie arrives to check. Jamie says he has hired a new employee, Louise, and has romantic interest in her. He wants to throw a memorable welcome party for Louise. Juan isn't thrilled about the plan, and decides to go for breakfast. When the doorbell rings, Juan uses his supervision to see who's there, and discovers that the new employee is Louise, a girl he's liked since university. He decides to invite her to the party. The party turns out to be dull, despite Jamie's efforts. Louise goes to another office, to complain to a friend, and Juan overhears her. He learns that the only thing she really wants is his presence at the party. Happy to hear this, Juan decides to save the evening, getting ice for drinks. While he's out, Louise leaves. Juan rushes after her, finding her at a subway station. Using his speed, he catches up to her, and asks her out. Their romantic dinner is interrupted by a noisy group of teenagers, who crash into the pizzeria. Louise is upset, and wants to deal with the unruly kids. Juan tries to calm her, but the teenagers end up setting him up for a fall. Frustrated, but determined not to reveal his powers, he refrains from punishing them. His life takes a dramatic turn, when a subway train's brakes fail. To save passengers, he jumps onto the tracks, and runs to the next station. He tries to stop the train with his hands, but realizes he can't do it alone. As the train speeds up, Juan runs to the next station, and attempts to stop it using a fire hose. However, his lack of knowledge about physics causes the train to stop briefly, and then shoot backward, creating a spectacle. The whole event is captured by security cameras from CHIT Technologies, owned by the now-grown Agata, who has been developing robotics. Her robots are everywhere, and the subway incident helps her locate Juan. She travels to Spain with her army of robots, to find the Superman. Meanwhile, back at the office, Louise vents to Juan about Jamie's excessive attention. She also mocks the idea of a Spanish superhero, suggesting that superheroes should come from places like the USA or England. Jamie interrupts their conversation, with news that Agata Muller, a famous businesswoman, has arrived in Spain. Agata, upon arriving, calls her father, Admiral Scorba. She reports she will soon complete her mission, and be able to return home. Scorba, skeptical about her success, and frustrated by the 20-year delay, threatens to destroy Earth and Agata, if she fails to capture Juan before his visit. Juan meanwhile is on a bus for a second date with Louise. He starts hearing a loud noise in his head, that turns into Agata's voice. She mentally arranges a meeting at the Chit Technologies building, insisting he come if he wants to understand what's happening. At the meeting, she reveals his origins, and invites him to come with her to Kaiden, where his abilities would be celebrated. He is skeptical, and decides to leave, but she reads his mind, and discovers he's eager to return to his date with Louise. She tries to detain him until her father arrives, but he quickly overpowers her guards, and escapes. She then orders her robots to obtain Louise's DNA. At the office, a robotic vacuum cleaner collects Louise's lip print from a cup, and sends the data. Jamie notices the robot's suspicious behavior, and tries to intervene, but the vacuum transforms into a spider-like robot, and attacks him. 
Jamie is saved by the janitors, who help him destroy the vacuum cleaner, but it's too late, Louise's DNA has already been transferred to Agatha. Jamie decides to warn Louise of the danger. Juan arrives late to her house to apologize. Upset and tipsy, she confesses her feelings for him. Although he knows she likes Jamie, and feels he must talk to his friend first, she manipulates him into kissing her goodbye. Jamie sees this kiss, and feels betrayed. Agatha seizes this opportunity and recruits Jamie, presenting him with a robot, that looks exactly like Louise. She promises if he helps her, the real Louise will be his. The next day, Juan decides to confront his adoptive parents about his origins. They confess they found him in a field, and show him the spaceship he arrived in. He accidentally activates the projector, which reveals a message from his real father, urging him to return to Kaiden, and save it from the tyrant Scorba. Despite learning his true destiny, he still resists becoming a superhero. Inside the spaceship, his mom discovers a fabric with the letter C on it. They decide to create a superhero costume for him. Encouraged by his parents to embrace his destiny, he reluctantly agrees to try out his new role, Super Lopez. The costume includes the ability to fly, but he has never attempted it before. He makes a test jump from a rooftop, but falls to the ground. Local kids mock his costume, and make fun of him, which unexpectedly helps him discover how to fly. After making a heavy metal goat horn sign with his hand, he begins to levitate. With the same sign, he soars into the air, and flies away. He spends some time mastering his new ability, and eventually returns home. At home, he is visited by the robot version of Louise, who has come to persuade him to return to his planet. Noticing the robot's odd behavior, he tries to change the subject, and asks about the kiss they shared. Unbeknownst to Agatha, who controls the robot, Jamie intercepts the microphone. Posing as Louise, Jamie accuses Juan of betrayal, and dismisses their kiss as disgusting. Feeling hurt, Juan agrees with the robot, and states that Jamie is his only friend, and he never wanted to hurt him. Jamie, moved by the words, decides to stop helping Agatha with her plan. However, Agatha regains control of the robot, and uses it to attack Juan. The robot, posing as Louise, kisses Juan, and then throws him through a wall. A fight breaks out between them, with his adoptive parents coming to his aid. When the robot tries to attack his mom, he defends her, hitting the robot's head with a large piece of ham. Agatha, undeterred, now threatens the real Louise. Juan meets her and reveals his superpowers, but she doesn't believe him, until he shows her his superhero suit, and prepares to fly. Meanwhile, other superhero cosplayers challenge him, leading to a fight. While he is distracted by the cosplayers, Louise is kidnapped. Agatha telepathically contacts Juan, informing him of the abduction. Juan quickly deals with the cosplayers, and flies to Agatha's office to rescue Louise. Inside, he finds Louise and other friends bound, and in danger. As he begins to free his friends from their restraints, a harsh sound from the room speakers drains his strength. Jamie asks Louise to confess her feelings to Juan, to lift his spirits, but it fails to help. However, when Juan hears his friends insulting him, he becomes furious, and regains his energy. Using laser beams from his eyes, he creates a path through the wall, and rescues his loved ones. Meanwhile, Scorba arrives on Earth, and Agatha, who has again failed to capture Juan, is berated by her father. Scorba's scorn becomes too much for her, and she decides to end her father's reign, tearing out his oxygen hose. As she reads her father's last thoughts, she learns he is now proud of her, as she is about to become the new dictator. Juan, feeling disheartened, tries to burn his superhero costume, declaring he no longer wants to be a hero. Just then, Agatha arrives at his house in a spaceship, which transforms into a combat vehicle upon landing. While his father distracts Agatha, he races to retrieve his costume. The final battle begins. During the fight, his family tries to help him. Agatha, who has never experienced parental love, targets Juan's dad with a huge vacuum cleaner. Despite Juan's efforts, his father is captured by the robot. Agatha then throws Juan aside, and he lands on a football field in the middle of a game. He attempts to use a soccer net against the robot, but the wind causes it to fall on his mom, who is also sucked into the vacuum cleaner. Exhausted, he is battered by Agatha's robot. Louise devises a plan, asking Jamie to distract Agatha, while she sneaks up behind the robot. As the robot focuses on Jamie, Louise shouts at Juan, to perform the same move he used on their first date. Renewed by the support of his family and friends, who taunt him from the vacuum cleaner, Juan soars into the sky, declares himself Super Lopez, and freezes the robot with his icy breath. He then pushes the robot, which trips over a car, and falls into a pool. With Agatha defeated, Louise recognizes Juan as a true superhero. 
However, the moment is cut short by his mother, who reminds him that his biological family is still waiting for him to save them. He decides to send Agatha and a cosplayer to his home planet, instead of going himself. The cosplayer is mistaken for Juan, and appointed as the new ruler of Kaiden. The battle between Super Lopez and Agatha is captured by neighborhood kids, making Juan the first Spanish superhero, known across the country. Now, he tries to live his superhero life, flying around and saving people. However, his heroics led to increased taxes to cover the damage, causing public discontent. Louise is also frustrated with his constant delays, due to his superhero duties. Yet his true adventures are just beginning. At a cafe, Super Lopez encounters a mysterious man with a teleporter, who hints that they will meet again soon. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.